the forever dreaded beeping. Guys, what is up? It is snowing. Uh, there might be some uh, some safe hooning, but I don't know yet. But I will obviously keep you guys in the loop. I'm just gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount you guys over here real quick. Just just, just hold on, right back. Oh baby, so much better. Lens claps. All right, I'm warm. I'm warm. Jesus Christ, I'm sweating. Alright guys, I'm gonna set up a GoPro. So while I do that, enjoy this clip. We installed the JDM front grill. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you know the last last video, two videos ago, two videos ago, something like that. Two, one video, three, seven, twelve, whatever it was. I showed you guys that we had the JDM front grill, the JDM Sports front grill. That we got it. Uh, my boy finished painting it and it is installed on the car. We actually installed it at a car meet, which is pretty funny. Uh, it's not a super in-depth install because it's literally only four bolts, but I'll just, I'll play that clip right now while I put this, get this going. So, yeah, watch that, watch that now. So what's good? What's up, bro? So here's the grill. The grill is on. I didn't show an actual install because it's actually very simple. It's literally just two pop clips and two 10 millimeter bolts. That's it. It's literally all it is for the grill. But here it is. Dating on its paint match. It's a little off. You can see that it's a little darker. Looks pretty sick. I'm hyped on it. My homie did a good job. Yeah. And we're at the meet. All these cars. I literally just installed it with all these people here. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. There's Sam rolling around. There he is. <laughs> Let's do it, baby! Snow time, baby! Woo! Oh, oh, speed bumps. Speed bumps. Oh, baby! We need to talk. We, we have so much to talk about. Well, not really. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip of uh, installing the JDM. The JDM front grill. Uh, it looks super nice. As you guys saw, the paint match isn't exact. It's not an exact paint match, but um, I think it looks pretty good for what it for what it is and what we use. So, shout out to my boy Eli once again for, for hooking that up. Thank you. But uh, I really want to talk about New Year's, guys. I hope I hope everyone had a had a good Christmas. Um, I know I talked about doing a Christmas video. That that idea went out the window real quick because it rained like four days four days straight right before christmas so i literally had no time to do anything and it has been brick city here in new york it has been so cold like stupid cold like like five degrees of wind chill cold like it's been so cold so i haven't been able to like really put out videos or whatever because it's just it, it's just, you can't even function it's too cold you just you literally can't function so I wanted to do like, oh, this guy's shoveling. Just walk right in front of me. It's fine. Just I'm just not driving a car or anything. Oh, baby. I don't know if you can hear the car audio, but man, this thing's out. It's so good. Um, yeah, New Year's is coming. And I really want to talk about my New Year's goals. Um, 2017 was a good year. Uh, nothing super crazy happened, but it was a good year in the sense of that I got my the car that I always wanted. And to me, that's that's that's... That's really cool. Some people are like, oh, you know, whatever. I can't believe you sold the legacy to get another legacy. But I really wanted, to, I fell in love with this car when I first got it. But it was automatic and I felt held back. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? All right, so long story short, I, uh, I, I, you know, I sold it, got this one, Emmanuel. This is basically like my dream car. Not, you know, dream car. I love this car. Fuck it, it's great, it's fun, it's awesome, right? So 2017 was a good year for me, I would say. I wouldn't like brag about it, like nothing like super extravagant really happened, but I'd like to say 2017 was a good year, and now we are getting ready to welcome 2018. Oh baby, time is flying. I have some serious goals that I really want to accomplish for this year. Uh, they're all basically car related. The goals that I have are that I want to, one, 
I want to focus more on my YouTube. I really want YouTube to be like, not a priority, but I really want it to be up there with things. I really want to be more motivated to make more content instead of just going out and kind of like vlogging or like showing a little bit here and there. Like I really want to make actual content. Like I want to, I want to, there's just, I want to do more in the like cinematic aspects of cars. And I'd really like to introduce like more friends into the vlogs and into the, the videos and stuff. Um, there's just, there's, there's a lot more I want to do with, with YouTube in general. So number one is focus more on YouTube on like the quality of the videos and stuff that I make. Uh, number two is do more videos. I know that I've been talking for a long time. For a while now I've been doing one video a week and lately I've been slacking on it because it's just been, it's been so cold here. Like stupid cold, you just you can't even go out, you'll get frostbite, it's so cold. It's been so cold lately. With that being said, I really want to up the, the I mean, the, I, I've been doing one video a week and uh, I really want to up the videos a week. Um, I really want to do two to three videos a week. That's like the goal. The goal is to do two to three videos a week to, to put out, but not just any random video. Like I want to put out good content. So that would be number two for a goal. Number three for the goal is car stuff. Uh, there's a few things that need to be done to the car. If you guys have been following the channel, you know that the car has a pretty good amount of performance stuff done to it already. It has no real exterior mods, but performance wise, I, I just, it has unequal length headers, it has a catalyst up pipe, it has a catalyst down pipe. It's a short throw shifter, it has a cold air intake, and it's cop tuned, stage two cop tuned, right? Two of the goals that I want to do that's coming up soon is I need to get a cat back because it has a stock cat back, so it's just restricting. All that, all that airflow that's going through is just restricted coming out the back, so that needs to, uh, that needs to change. That's also why um, my car is like quiet because I have all these mods and then stock catback so it's super quiet. The two I need to get is Pro Tune. I really, really, really want to get a Pro Tune because it's only on the Cobb Stage 2 tune. That's coming up hopefully in January. End of January, early February, uh, I'll be able to get a, a Pro Tune. That's probably about it performance wise. It's probably going to stay like that for a while. Maybe if I come across, maybe I'll do injectors or fuel pumps or something like that and get another tune later on. But for now, I'll be pretty content of where the car is performance-wise. I have like full breather mods, basically. So, uh, I don't really have to worry about power. You know, it's, she's pretty quick now, but I just want to get a nice pro tune. Everything's dialed in. Uh, for exterior, I have a lot of plans for the exterior. And I know some people may hate me for this. Some people may love me for it, but uh, we are going to wide body the legacy, guys. The, 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 it's gonna get wide bodied, but not just flares or 240 universal flares from eBay or the, the Outback flares that you could get that I was doing on my old legacy. No, we are gonna do a legit wide body. I will link the people who make them. They actually, they're, well, they're not, they didn't make them yet, they're in the process. But they are making a wide body for why is everyone going so slow? No one knows how to drive in the snow. Jeez. I'm going so slow. No one knows how to drive in the snow. Jeez. So they are making a legit, they're called Monster Service. They're making a wide body for the Legacy GT. They make wide bodies for other cars now, but they just posted about two months ago that they're gonna be coming out with one for the fourth gen Legacy GT. And uh, I'll, I'll put pictures of it right right now. Pictures. So this is basically what the wide body will look like. And uh, that's what I'm looking into doing exterior wise. So I'll probably just do the wide body, wheels, no camber, nothing fucking stupid, no stance for here. We'll look into some other small things as we go, but uh, for now that'll be, that's, that's the ultimate goal is the, uh, the wide body, the wheels, um, I want to do suspension. They're, right now the car's lowered on springs, but I mean, they're springs. So we'll probably look at the coilovers eventually, but I'm not in any rush to like get them on or anything. Because obviously there's some maintenance stuff that we have to do. I have a ripped axle boot, front axle boot that needs to be done. Some of these little suspension bits need to be done, like sway bars, end links, stuff like that. Maybe a little, but the, the, the goal is, the, the ultimate goal is to have the car wide bodied, and wheels but like in 2018 that's 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 the goal 
And uh, I'm making a video of doing these goals and actually putting it out there. So I'm actually striving to do these because I don't know about you guys, but if I tell someone I'm going to do something and I don't do it, I just feel I feel stupid. Like I feel so stupid. So by putting it on the internet, and putting it on the YouTube channel and telling you guys that this is what I want to do, this is the goal, it's going to motivate me more to, to hit those goals. So uh, that's, that's, that's the reasoning for it. But uh, these Blizzaks are sick! Blizzaks! Oh, baby! <laughs> I just wanted to show the JDM installation and I wanted to talk about my goals for 2018. That, that's really it. Make more videos, make better videos, make better content um, and the, the, the future goals for the car. That's, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at, what I want to do for 2018 goals wise. So, I don't know guys, let me know in the description below what, what your goals are for 2018. I'd, I'd like to know what, uh, what you guys are doing, what, what car are you building. Let me know your goals down below. I, I, would, I would actually like to know. If you've ever commented, you know that I, I, I reply to mostly every YouTube comment that I get. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got for now. And I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you got any questions, leave a comment. And I will see you guys next year.